Today, Tutankhamun's treasures are famous worldwide. But Tutankhamun himself has always been a shadowy figure, a mere boy propelled to the throne at nine and dead by the age of 19. Dwarfed by the great pharaohs who preceded him and those who followed in his wake. His life story was largely unknown since ancient records were destroyed in antiquity. For more than 3,000 years, Tutankhamun lay almost forgotten. Here in the traditional burial ground of the pharaohs, Egypt's Valley of the Kings. Until in November 1922, archaeologist Howard Carter and his wealthy patron, the Earl of Carnarvon, made the greatest find of the 20th century. They'd stumbled upon a treasure hoard beyond their wildest dreams. In all, 5,400 artifacts, many of them wrought in solid gold. The Egyptians of Tutankhamun's era prized the precious metal because they believed it would survive for all eternity. They called it the flesh of the gods. The find was a worldwide sensation. Every other royal tomb had been stripped by grave robbers long ago, but here, everything was still in place. Lord Carnarvon had unearthed not only priceless treasures, everything Tutankhamun believed he would need in the next life was crammed into his tomb. Carnarvon's extraordinary finds set Egyptologists on a race to fill those gaping holes in our knowledge of the mysterious boy king. High Clear Castle in southern England is the home of the present-day 8th Earl of Carnarvon. His great-grandfather, the 5th Earl, spent 10 years and much of the family fortune searching for the tomb of King Tut. A memento in the family vaults reveals how the triumph was swiftly followed by a mysterious death. There are many ideas that if you disturb an intact tomb of a pharaoh, then something terrible will befall you. This, in fact, is my great-grandfather's cutthroat razor, which, in fact, led to his death. He got bitten by a mosquito, and then was um, shaving in the Winter Palace Hotel, and he didn't pay attention to the rather nasty mosquito bite, nicked his face there, and um, let the bacteria in. The Earl developed blood poisoning. Before the treasures could even be fully examined, the man who found Tutankhamun was dead. A victim, some said, of the curse of the pharaohs. At the precise moment of his death in a Cairo hotel room, the Egyptian capital was plunged into darkness. Was it a simple power cut or something more sinister? Back here at Highclere, exactly the same time, his beloved little dog, Susie, suddenly died as well. After a long howl, she expired. So there were some spooky things that happened at the time of the death of my great-grandfather. 